Though I joined YouTube a long while ago, I haven't actually been active on YouTube but for a couple of months now, uh, making comments and making videos. And I guess I've reached sort of a milestone uh, in that I have been blocked for the first time by someone. Let me check right here. Uh, username William Givens. He had uh, sent me a private message with a link to one of his videos about how uh, you need Jesus to be saved and so forth. And I wrote him back and told him that uh, I'd like to discuss that with him if he'd like. And he wrote me back and he said, Hi, thanks for your reply. Yes, I would be happy to discuss things w uh, with you in a rational manner, Bill. So I thought, hey, great, here's somebody else that I can talk to and, you know, kind of argue with because I like doing this sort of thing. So I wrote him back and I'm going to read you what I wrote here and apparently it is because of what I wrote here that he blocked me. Now, I don't know, maybe I was an asshole. It's uh, for you to decide. Uh, here it goes. I, uh, on the subject I wrote, where to begin? Howdy Bill, to be honest, there were a lot of things in that video that I disagree with and that I would like to discuss with you. From the inheritance of traits, meaning that you are in your ancestors, to the morality of punishing descendants for what their ancestors have done, to the very need to be born again, and the existence of God himself. If there is anything particular that you would like to discuss, feel free to pick one and go to town. But I think that ultimately all the points in your video rest on the Bible. If the things written in the Bible are true, then it seems that what you put in the video reasonably follows. So the big question then is, why should we consider what is in the Bible to be true? I'm certainly no biblical scholar, nor am I a theologian. I'm simply a man interested in such things. And I consider it important to have at least enough knowledge of something to properly be able to make decisions regarding it. During the course of my life, the things I've learned and the things I've reasoned for myself have led me to believe that much of what is in the Bible is untrue. And that, God, excuse me, and that the God of the Bible is yet another of the imaginary spirits, deities, and powers that humans have invented over the millennia to explain the unknown. Of course, being a fallible human, I am always open to new experience, knowledge, and ideas, because I know that I do not have perfect knowledge uh, to make decisions perfectly. So my question to you would be, why do you feel the Bible is a reliable source of truth? And of course, I signed it, Daniel Theophage Clark. Now, uh, I had sent this to him, and shortly afterward, I had uh, something else to say, some other comment I wanted to make, and I, I don't even remember what it was. It was just a couple of lines, and I went to go send it uh, by private message, and uh, I went back and looked at my sent folder because it, it said it sent normally. And I have a strange habit of obsessively reading what I write over and over. I don't know why. But uh, so I go to the sent folder to read it again, and it wasn't there. And um, I, so I sent another one, same deal. Uh, this was a couple of days ago. I just tried again today, and again, nothing, although it says it sends it. I mean, I would expect if you're blocked, a message to say you cannot send private messages to blocked or to users who have blocked you. So I didn't know what was going on, so I went to his channel page. And I was going to leave a message on his channel page saying, hey, there's something screwy going on. And I noticed under his channel comments where the, bo where the box usually is where you can leave channel comments, the box to leave comments wasn't there. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if he's blocking me. And I clicked on the subscribe button. And yes, the message popped up. You cannot subscribe to members who have blocked you. Now, Let's be adult about this, folks. If you don't want to discuss something with someone, just say it. Write to them and say, hey, you know, I really don't want to discuss this with you. I really don't feel comfortable with it, or I'm just not interested in it. That's the adult thing to do, especially after you write to me and say, hey, yes, I would like to rationally discuss it with you. But to say nothing and then block someone? Come on, people. We're adults here. Let's act like adults, okay?